Hello guys, welcome back while well, in this VJS series. So we've been converting this template um, into VJS right now. This is uh, the code here, and uh, this is the VJS setup. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you need to see them uh, so that you can get the hold of it. So so far, what we did is that we worked with index.phtml and we added the scripts on the top, as well as uh, uh, sorry, the styles on the top, as well as the scripts at the bottom. So. Uh, to run the project when uh, we uh, run a command uh, npm run so that gives us uh, this uh, local environment and it runs the server now we have our project working on localhost 8080 now the design is not coming uh, you can see that it is broken so if you go to the original template that looks something like uh, this uh, so this is the freed-css.com you can download free templates from here uh, about the usage of them you need to confirm uh, and read their documentations so something like this it should be but it is broken here so in this video we're going to correct that so we are working with view components and uh, obviously there are some CSS and JS missing so it's not working so we can do this we can go to VP8 source by clicking a right click now when we click and uh, you see the CSS files here if you click on them you will see the code that means that this file is accessible now if you click on other files you can check that which file is working and which is not now you can see that that I click on uh, style.css here and it's not showing me the code for that so if I go to my directory where I have this uh, project which is inside htdocs I am uh, running a local host here uh, it's a XAMPP server so here if I go to sample which is our project public assets so uh, I can see that uh, in the code it says uh, uh, where it is uh, it's on the top here it says style.css so it is not inside assets it's outside it but here we do not have it uh, any style.css so what I do I go into the main uh, theme which is here the HTML and there it is the style.css and I copy this I paste in here inside assets now we need to change uh, here that we need to put assets in front of it and now it will look for public assets in the file so if I go to the browser and you can see the style has already started to work now I need to work with the Java JavaScript because it should be it should not be coming like this it should be coming something like this so for that, we need to. So the way we check the CSS, we can check JavaScript as well by using page source. Um, but we can also check with the uh, uh, clicking right click and then go to console. It should tell us like what file is missing to get the error here. And we can see that we have error. It is saying like type .min.js. But when I go into uh, the file, the type .min.js, it is something a library, a code that we cannot edit. We cannot touch this code because uh, by default it is it's supposed to be working as it is working there uh, sorry here so what else we can see here is that it is saying that there is some problem in custom.js as well so the custom code that we are adding here uh, there is something wrong so if I go into my index.html you know, where we have all these uh, scripts called if I cut this off and save that you can see the error is gone however the problem is still there so what I do is I go to the custom.js and uh, just here now here is the code and uh, I remove the comment here so it's uh, the syntax used here that's a function and inside that we are doing everything the whole code and the code for responsible for typed content is here so instead of this I am going to use uh, the document and I document out ready then function and that's it so what we're gonna do I'm going to cut this off I'm gonna take it to the bottom where this is ending and I can put this here now if I save this okay I made a mistake here document All right that's fine and you can see that it is working now so the error is gone so this is this was the issue one more thing that I'm noticing that when we scroll top and in the page loads there is some color issue coming 
there is some CSS conflict going on. So we added our scripts here in index and all the scripts are present in our assets folder in public directory. Uh, but uh, there is something that we need to uh, make sure that our components shouldn't have any kind of CSS. My app.view have some CSS here. So I'm going to remove that in our hello world component. Let me see if there is any. No, there isn't. So we are using only two components, nothing more than that. So yeah, you can see that now it is fixed. So we just completed our template. It is so everything is working here. You can see that the, the template is fine. All CSS and style is working just fine here. The only thing is missing that the images, like we have here, the size of images. And uh, instead, if we go to the main template that we downloaded it from, there we have images. But we here we we do not have images. Uh, we are just um, having the sizes of images, not the images. So you, that is something that you can add images because that's not that big of a deal. But otherwise, everything is working just fine. So thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and have a nice day.